Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, should be walking in any second. This is the Civivi Badlands. This is the knife I just did the unboxing with. And the unboxing I have here, I did already unbox it, but I haven't unboxed the knives yet. So let's get into it. This package was sent by Seems Logical. Um, this is the knife I'm testing right now, so that's why it's in the packet. Okay, so check this out, guys. We got some Long Island El Famous ba bagels. We got, um, this is the, the everything, cinnamon raisin. And then <laughs> we got some happy birthday rainbow bagels. Most of, a lot of these are going to Breeze, uh, my cousin Breeze. So um, I'm actually mailing out tomorrow. So if you have any packages coming from me, they are going to be mailed out tomorrow. Well, actually, it'd be today because I think this video is dropping today. Anyways, or tomorrow, whatever. But oh, this is so awesome. I'm definitely keeping a couple of these for sure because the last time we had the bagels from up there, they were fire. We made breakfast sandwiches out of them, um, all kinds of stuff. So we got the package right here. Oh, hopefully you guys didn't see the name. So we're going to start off with, I've never tried one of these. Actually, all these knives I haven't tried. Possibly the Tala. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, the Spider Co. Capara. In all its glory. When this first dropped, I wanted one so bad but couldn't afford it. That's nice. Oh, my Lord. I think I like this thing a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That. I don't want to speak too early before testing it or trying it out or anything like that. These are all freshly sharpened. Man. This has been, uh, seems logical's go-to knife or like he's been uh, using it. For the past couple months so man i know he likes it a lot it just feels like it'd be a great edc the grips you can get in it looks like it's great for slicing utility cuts push cuts you get up nice and close to the blade when i say nice and close to the blade the reason why i say that is because when you do push cuts you don't want the, the blade to get caught in the choil or fall out. You want to basically run right down the material. So you want to be able to get nice and close to the blade or as close as possible and have control and have leverage going straight down. Because usually when you're doing push cuts, it's because you need more leverage than with a slice. So you need that power behind your cut. And yeah, carbon fiber is beautiful. Drop shutty very much <laughs> this is so nice very very nice oh that is I, i'm so excited that i finally get to check one of those out next up now this knife i might have had and gave away yes i think so yes i did so we did have one of these I'll j i'm still going to show it and uh because sometimes it's good to have two knives you know you get to really try them out so we used to have one of these they're very grippy g10 it's like when you go like this it kind of forces your fingers to follow the traction because they're like it's really deep lines and i remember the action on these were so good yeah this is nice this flipper tab is just so comfortable it's so rounded, and you would think like rounded means you'd slide off. No, like the detent is just tuned very nicely for this type of flipper tab. Very, very cool. And we didn't have it for very long. I just basically did my testing and then we gave it away. So very cool. I need to try some more CJRBs. That is one brand that I am like kind of slacking on, guys. I know I'm slacking. Um, I want to get a lot more of their knives. Now, this one I have not tried. And this is the Tucson Bronc. Or the TS204. Yeah, 204. 
Now this was another one I was pretty excited about when I seen it. I have a knife right there. <laughs> um, let's just get to it. Let me let me check it out. So we got what looks like white micarta, but it's white G10. I thought that was super unique. Wow, the seams are very nice. Man, you can't even feel the seam. Beautiful carbon fiber, as always, from Tucson. All right. Now, this is, it's a little thick, like it's thick in the handle, but I kind of like that because that tells me I'm going to get good ergos. First flip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's nice in the hand. See, when you have a, a certain level of thickness, it, um, it gives you more leverage in the squeeze. Good geometry, usually from Tucson, anyways. Uh, what steel is this one? The S90V, Tepe design. And if you guys don't know, I do love Tepe designs. I have one Tucson Tepe design. We had another Tepe Hornet uh, that uh, we gave away to the patrons. Um, I even know who won that one. But um, but this though, or but Tepe designs from Tucson. I have the Tucson TS one seventy seven Maverick. Yeah, that's sweet. Can I reverse flick that? Oh, but I can. But I can. Yeah, that's sweet. Let's check out that choil. Choil looks as of right now looks great. I mean, my focus isn't that good. But yeah, it looks like it's hard to tell because. The way the plunge is going, but it looks like the plunge ends right there. So it looks like they left some meat on the bones for you to sharpen. I like to use that term, meat on the bones. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And Tepe does good clips from Tucson. So, very nice. Looks like all big hardware. And then that pivot collar just kind of looks cool. You can push button it, you can light switch it. Nice grippy um, jimping. Yeah, this is sweet. Thank you, um, seems logical. I don't wanna just say your name. Um, I try to get used to saying, I forgot to say titanium backspacer too. I um, I try to get used to saying people's handles, their channel or you know, like their, cha their handle online because in the beginning I accidentally said some people's names, like not like, like trying to out them or anything. And then they contact me and they're like, hey man, I wish you wouldn't use my name. And I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. So now I just I just try to stick to, and I try to, you know, get stuck on it, unless if it's like somebody who's already known out there. Um, but yeah, and I even almost got somebody in trouble because their company like d looks down on like any social media stuff. So like, it, like, they, I don't, I don't think I almost got them in trouble, but if their company had found out, like, I don't know, they just, they explained to me that they're just, they, you know, that they have to be very careful and I don't, you know, know anybody's personal business. So I always try to just say their channel name or their handle online and stuff like that. So, um, but if I've ever accidentally said your name and you didn't like that, I apologize. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And thank you. Seems logical for everything i'm sure breeze is gonna love these bagels all right guys peace Ooh, it's fine
body crema. having trouble with our cold butter. I'm sh shredding it. I saw this. It's Melted. a life hack. Yeah, it sucks. No, it doesn't. It makes it all thin. The so heck that I sucks. Can, like, so I can like, ah, I didn't like that noise. So I can spread it. Is it working? Yeah. Better than a big old thick chunk. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> I mean, I could probably just also I just, cut. I just yeah. slide the, yeah, that's what I do. Just like that slide. Slide it like this. Just like the fork. That's what I do. I can't hold the butter in at the same time, so. I'm gonna touch the butter. Don't try oh. to get some. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cut a chunk off. I hate cold butter. Same. You love it. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Hard to do one handed. Hold the thing down, baby. Or you could be just running a camera. Mmm, that is so good. How's that? Fire? Fire. Mm. So good. Mm, mm, mm.